Hello everyone, it's me again. I decided that I wanted to make a video about my event monitor. So I figured that I could show you guys exactly how an event monitor works. So that if you find out, well, maybe you have to wear one, that it could help you out and understand like what it is and not be so scared of it. So, here I'll just let it go. This is my event monitor. It's one of the more common ones. It's called the King of Hearts. Um, to help you understand it, let's wait for it to. Sometimes it doesn't work if you have it in a certain like position. Put it right there. It'll probably turn back on. Okay, so let's see if it'll work for me here. As you'll see, there's a four. The four means I have four recordings left. The big five is battery life. And then the little thing at the top that kind of looks like a voicemail sign says that it's recording. So that's all that. The, ooh, the event monitor typically, I'm not plugged it again, has two electrodes that you have to attach to your chest like such. One right here. The other one is right here on your uh, one of your sides, basically over your rib cage. Sorry, mess and stuff up over here. So I'm going to show you everything that you have to know about an event monitor. Every person might get when you get one, your uh, package or whatever that it comes in is going to look different. This is just the box that my cardiologist gave me. It's got the number and everything on it. And then, this is a box that holds everything in it. There's a case for this that you put it in when you take it off because you don't have to wear it at night. Most people don't anyway. This bag used to have a lot more in it, but these are my electrodes. Little things that you have to hook up to your monitor. They'll also give you batteries for your monitor in case batteries die, which I've had mine for three weeks and the battery is still on five. This is mine. I, uh, use it sometimes to keep the electrodes and the wires and cords in place. I haven't used it in a while though because it is very uh, uncomfortable if you have sensitive skin. Piece of tape stuck to this. Okay, so this is the patient diary. It's not like a halter. They give you a diary and you have to like write every single little thing that you do every time that you move. This one is was given to me basically to show me where to place my electrodes. Hang on. I all messed up again. This diagram right here is how the cords look on your body when you're wearing them. And then, oops. As you'll see over here, the directions to turn it on. And then on the back, this explains any technical problems. If this, if the uh, battery one shows, it means you have to change the batteries immediately so that you don't lose your recordings. And then when you see the F, it uh, means that you don't have any more recordings left on your monitor. And that means you have to send them over by phone, which I'll show you how to do too. Um, the bottom tells you about the multitude of beeping that it makes. Oops, sorry. It 
And I'm not going to lie to you guys, if you do have a King of Hearts, the monitor is extremely noisy. It's very hard to uh, hide. I don't know if you try to hide or not, but I try to because it's embarrassing. Um, so yeah, that's all that information. This right here just has all the information on it. This does not save or record anything unless you push the record button. Push the record button for any and all symptoms. Press the EK or phone the EKG into ACMI as soon as possible after pushing the record button. Batteries will need to be changed at least once every seven days when the lead wires are first plugged in and the second and larger number that appears in the screen indicates days of battery life. Change patches, which are called electrodes, every other day, and if they become loose or fall off, do not use or restick the same used electrodes. Place electrodes on a bony area, like where mine is right now, that's a bony area on my chest. Um, do not wear monitor in shower or pool area. If you get the sweat at all, it'll be destroyed. Monitor may be taken off at night if no symptoms occur at night. Follow the return instructions enclosed in the monitor box. Which is this. Once you're done with your monitor, you basically just put the whole thing in there and send it to them. And then this right here is patient instructions. It says, prepare skin for electrodes, cleanse skin, allow area to drive, shave if necessary, remove electrode from sealed package, attach lead wire to electrode. This is basically just tells you uh, how to hook it up and how it works. Okay, so now what I want to show you guys is how to make a recording. Find my wires. So whenever you have a symptom, which could be a, among a lot of lines, chest pain, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, dizziness, feeling like you're going to faint, those are all signs of heart problems. So when that occurs, what you have to do is sit very, very still when you do this, or else the test won't go in the right, or the EKG won't go in the right way. I have to do this again. So what you want to do is hit the record button. And what you're hearing is my heart rhythm. Let's see if it worked. Okay. So once you get your recording, first thing that you're supposed to do, if you're at home or in an area with a landline phone, first thing you want to do is call. And what I'm going to do is make another video because I'm running out of time. So my next video will be how to send over an EKG using your event monitor.